Hi everyone, today is February 7th and we've had our salmon eggs for 27 days. Last video I was wondering about the rocks in the tank and why they were there. They kind of remind me of rocks that you'd see in a stream. Now female salmon make their nests in the rocks. That's where they lay their eggs. This helps to protect the eggs from predators and from high flows, but it also provides the eggs the oxygen they need. As the water flows through the spaces between the rocks, there's some oxygen that gets pushed through there and the eggs can absorb that through their casings. How else do you think rocks help salmon, especially as they grow? Look at where our salmon are now in our tank. I was also wondering why there wasn't dirt or sand in the tank, since there's dirt and sand at the bottom of streams. But if you think about it, if there was dirt or sand in this tank, it would float around and the particles would fill up the spaces between the eggs. The water couldn't flow through those spaces anymore, so there wouldn't be oxygen for the eggs and they would suffocate. That can happen in streams as well. That's why it's important not to cause erosion along streams or anywhere around streams. Erosion is when dirt is worn away by something. It could be water, it could be wind, walking up and down the bank of a stream in the same place over and over, or even construction. Any excess dirt in streams can settle into the spaces between the rocks and suffocate salmon eggs. Salmon also use, start to use their gills at this point to filter oxygen out of the water. If there's dirt floating in the water, then those gills can get clogged. So we've learned that temperature and rocks are important to salmon. I wonder what other things in the water can affect salmon. How have our salmon changed since our last observation? I'm going to move over to our corner here so you can see some more of our olivine. I don't think they liked that. I think I scared them a little bit. You can see them getting a little bit more active as they sense that movement.